Y'all, my video just stopped on me. I don't even know why. But that's what I'm getting, y'all. Like something like this person already you already feel like this person have chosen or made a mistake. That's what I'm getting here. But let's see a future swatch, please. For this energy. Thank you. For Gemini, please, what's the future swatch here for this connection? For Gemini's. Well, so we have the 10, well, not the 10, the sun energy in reverse. We have the world and we have the king of cups. I feel like I'm seeing you single in the future. I'm seeing you independent. I mean, you could be with this person in the future, but you're definitely in your power. That's the main thing. Like you're just in your power energy. Um, a lot of you could be dealing with a Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus. Leo is coming out strong here, but you're still holding back within the future energy. Um, you still don't trust this person. You're not happy with this energy. You know, I'm just getting this vibe, this low vibration here within the future. And this is coming to a completion within the world. Like you feel like there is nothing here. There's always love here, but you just don't feel safe enough to, to allow this to flow and to surrender this energy. Hmm. It's like you're saying, I forgive someone, but I don't trust someone, you know? You forgive them, but you just don't trust them because of everything that has has occurred within this connection. It's like you're still moving towards... You're still making decisions based on fear. When it comes to this person because they hurt you because they abandoned you and you have your reasons but i'm also seeing like with this spiritual awakening and this healing that you're this journey that you're on and you have been you know rewarded or going to be rewarded when it comes to divine love you should not be living in fear whatever this person has been doing you should not be living in fear. You should be able to... If you love this person, you just love this person. You can't control who you love, right? So... Tell me more why... Tell me more about this king of cups in the future. What's this energy about... Hmm. You know what I'm seeing? Like this person is just not grown. You know that this is faded. You have the Wheel of Fortune here three times coming up. Three times. You also have the strength. The divine, the angel of strength is like, yeah, you guys need to work this out. You're worried about the future that hasn't, you know, like you already put a stamp on the future and say, oh, this is not going to work. This is not going to work between us. It's done. It's over. I just know it because I just know it. Like, that's the energy that you're given. Like, you just know what you know. You're already assuming that this is not going to work. So if you're assuming that this is not going to work and you're so in your power with your manifestation, you know, and you're healing, you're bringing things to life. So be careful. This is why I always say, like, be careful how you think. Look at your, your mind. Your mind is at work. It's overthinking. It says um, mental conflicts. So you're fighting within your head. You're fighting with yourself. It's like, I want to do this, but I know I shouldn't. I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Going back and forth within yourself about this person and how you feel. This Wheel of Fortune, even in the future, it's still coming up, coming up. Like, you guys 
have work to do together. You still have work to do together. You know, they will receive their karma because I feel like they already are with within the Ace of Swords that I saw earlier. And they're being taught by their guides. They're being shown things. Um, this is what I'm picking up. Yeah. You guys are so similar too. Within your energies. You, you're Gemini, but you could be dating another Gemini. But I also want to get into the fact that you both are highly emotional. <laughs> highly emotional people. So you could have a lot of, like, you could be a Gemini sun, but you could have a lot of water or uh, Cancer, or Scorpio um, as your moon sign or as your rising or something in that order. Because you both are very petty. <laughs> emotional people like myself are very petty, right? We don't forget things. And this is why it's a, uh, it's it's just coming up as incompletion or no, this is like you have business. Like I'm seeing like the the world was coming up as the upright all the time. So I'm just feeling like that situation between you and them is like over and done with. But there's still that is still doesn't mean that this person is out of your life forever even though you're trying to do this and live your own path it's like throughout the years you guys kind of come back together you know or you could be going to the grocery stores and here they are in the grocery store i'm like what all right so you have the star energy showing up again so there's going to be a huge possibility to come together that's coming together for you and this person it's like you're going to be guided together or guided back to each other this is this is not yet done you guys so i'm sorry to say this is deep this is way too deep but this is what i have for you um gemini's when it comes to the no contact i hope that it resonates and i hope that everybody gets the notifications i see your votes i put up a singles last night and you voted 43 percent for singles read and the video i don't think that all of you are watching that i don't know i don't know what's going on but you said that you wanted singles read and i did put it up but it didn't do well so i don't know <laughs> i don't know gems at this point um, if you didn't get it, I did put it up. All right. So check that single read out and I will see you guys in your next one. Love you guys. Bye.